and welcome back to Music Game News. I hope that you guys are doing wonderful today. My name is Ovela, I am your host Ovela. And you guys know that I took a liking to Diana and Kundinova, right? Because damn, I've never heard a voice like her hers <laughs> and i've already reacted to two of her performances and they were both great i did prefer the first one that i reacted to because it was my first impression and i thought it was just it just felt more epic too um but it did not stop there because you guys are requesting for me to react to her performance of wicked games uh, wicked games i don't know no wicked game wicked game see i'm i'm not sure that i'm familiar with this song so we'll see we'll see um, but before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM me your uh, suggestions or requests. There you go. All right, let's get to it. Wow, it's very loud. Whoosh. That was extremely loud. This time around, uh, the presentation, you know, of the stage is a little creepy. I know this song! Oh my gosh, see, I never knew that it was called Wicked Game. This song, for me, uh, equals the TV show Friends, okay? because they played it a couple of times in that show so at the moment where ross geller and uh, rachel green actually do it for the first time i think uh, in uh in the uh museum i think and i think the second time they played it is when the boyfriend of phoebe sings the chorus you know the no just wanna fall in love. I think that part, I think, I'm not sure. Is it that song? I think so, because he really sings it in a very uh, feminine way, so it's hilarious. So to me, this song just reminds me so much of the show Friends. But we're not we're not here for that. We're here for Diana and Kudinova. Mm -hmm. It's like two voices. Ah Shaba, thanks, man. Her technique of giving us this impression that she has two voices, it's insane. Seriously. When did this uh, take place? Let's check. 2019. We're in 2022. So three years ago. Ah, I think she was uh, 15, uh, you know, in 2019 because now she's 18, right? It's insane. To me, this girl is gifted. Because at 15, you cannot uh, sing this well. I mean, yeah, I've heard some Filipino singers, especially young Filipino singers that sing, you know, very well as if they were already adults with a lot of uh, experience. But it's very rare, man. But I have to say, I've never heard a Filipino artist uh, that uses this technique. Never. Falsetto. Man, that lower range. Oh, I love, love also this version of the song with these haunting voices behind and everything. It's so, it's nice, man. Oh my god. Oh 
just uh, cover a song as it is you know you're not trying to copy the original song and that's that's something that I cherish you know an artist a real artist can sing and create their own songs but if they have to cover somebody else's music they have to own it they have to make it their own they have basically to add a little bit of theirs in that track you know and that's exactly what she's doing those runs, her take on this song is so <gasps> mesmerizing. And every time I react to Diana, I get chills. So she has a physical impact on me. You know, it's not just uh, the audio, you know, it's not just my ears that are pleased, but my entire body. Because I get chills throughout my entire body. It's, it's insane. She made it sound like a folk, folkloric song. Boom. Unanimous vote. Yo, okay, okay, listen. Last time I reacted to her, I said that her covers, her music should be used in movies. And someone mentioned like in a, like the Dune movie, you know, it would fit perfectly. But also her music can be used in video games. And the first video game that came into mind is The Witcher. You know, The Witcher 3, and they're probably gonna make a sequel, you know. They should so freaking use her music in it. Or the TV show. I'm not a big fan of the TV show of The Witcher. I know the masses kind of like it, but as someone who played the video game, mm, Mm. And there are people that also read the books, you know, I'd like to know what they think of the TV show. But yeah, her music is just... Wow. Oh! I'm not kidding, I have images that are flashing in my mind when I see her on stage like this. I see her in the middle of the ocean on an island with a storm and just happening around her, you know, and everything with the wind and oh, so epic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute and you know she has an accent obviously like this this uh, Russian accent but I think she handles uh, English very well even even French even French it was insane seriously it was insane her take on this song is so freaking strong it's a strong take that you know get, makes you travel it makes you travel, it makes you imagine things, you know, and that's, that's what I love. That's what I love about music and real artistry. She's so freaking talented. I loved it. And also, I love these Russian shows because the audio visual, um, you know, qu quality is fantastic. It actually feels like an experience. It does not feel like just a show. It feels like an experience, you know, they they really uh, 
you know, put the effort in everything, in the audio, in the visuals, the staging, the presentation. They want you to feel things. They want to move you. And I really appreciate that. And they found the perfect, perfect artist um, to help them with that. The Diana makes you feel things, dude. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this. And of course, I welcome more suggestions of Diana Ankudinova. And uh, are there other um, Russian artists as talented as her? You know, I'd love to know. I'd love to know. And like I said, the last person that blew me away in this type of way, it was um, uh, Dimash. Dimash Kudaybergin. All right, all right. Uh, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here, and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work, and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.